If you ask me what is the most important thing that I have learned about being a Haudenosaunee, it's the idea that we are connected to a community, but a community that transcends time. We're connected to the first Indians who walked this earth, the very first ones, however long ago that was. But we're also connected to those Indians who aren't even born yet, who are going to walk this earth. And our job in the middle is to bridge that gap. You take the inheritance from the past, you add to it your ideas and your thinking, and you bundle it up and shoot it into the future. And there is a different kind of responsibility. This is not just about me my pride and my ego. It's all about the other stuff. We inherit a duty, we inherit a responsibility, and that's pretty well drummed into our heads. Just don't come here expecting to benefit. You come here to work hard so that the future can enjoy that benefit. The seventh generation philosophy is integral to Haudenosaunee life. It testifies the bond of community, promotes stability, and provides concrete values that which each person can test his or her actions every day. Although the Haudenosaunee practice ancient traditions, their culture is not frozen in the past. Their ability to adapt to dramatic change and survive on their own terms is historically proven, but they are equally focused on. The Haudenosaunee say that their chiefs hold the law, the people, and the religion in the palm of their hand, and it is their sacred trust and duty to assure the safety of all that for the generations to come. In American society, the term chief is evocative of the concepts of executive, power, and perhaps control, but that is not the true within the Haudenosaunee culture. Their chiefs are called hoene, meaning caretakers of the peace. Traditionally, they are the male leaders chosen to be the voice of their clan in the council meetings. Each nation and each clan within the confederate have a different number of chiefs, but all the Heone have the same power and authority, despite long-standing misconceptions. There is no such thing as a quote, head chief or head sachem in Haudenosaunee culture. He is the security of future generations. Did you like that? It's the seven generation principle taught by Native Americans that says in every decision, be it personal, governmental, or corporate, we must consider how it will affect our descendants seven generations into the future. That gentleman right there is a great way in showing the world what should be the thought processes, not only of ourselves, but also of the world around us. Now you might be asking and wondering how does this apply to MGTOW? Allow me to explain. Our society is inherently selfish by nature. This is reminiscent not only in our culture, but how we as individuals react and exchange greetings. This isn't true everywhere you go. There are pockets and moments of selfless acts of the West. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. People don't think about their actions and how it will affect others down the line, weeks, months, or even years from now. This is especially true for women and more feminized men. The seven generations principle should be adopted by MGTOW men and especially those who may have sons that they are raising as single fathers. Instilling these values will help ensure the next generation can turn out just a little bit better than their predecessors. When applying this to the manosphere, we can help reach young boys that they may not be sure how to handle the world around them. Now make no mistake, this isn't a request for men to be selfless at all times. There's a fine line between selfishness and self-preservation. By all means, you should take care of yourself first. You should always do what you have to do to make sure that your problems are taken care of. If you can't take care of yourself, how can you be expected to take care of others? This is merely criteria to help you evolve into the next stage of manhood while on your journey. And still, by all means, avoid marriage and cohabitation. Avoid that shit like the plague. No, this is the mindset that I think will serve men because the decisions we make day to day as a man, we have a much better conceptualization of cause and effect, which by default makes men better leaders in our society. Modern day Western women are children, if you look at how they act and operate. They behave in the same fashion as that of a spoiled child, with all the nagging and shit tests they've always put men through. Only a handful of women can actually understand the cause and effect, and that's essentially why the seven generations principle means in the broadest sense, which is also why no successful matriarchy has ever thrived. If you are naive enough to believe that there was a successful group of women leaders, and I mean anywhere on planet Earth at any point in time in history from the Stone Age to the Bronze, Digital, and Space Ages, you are dead wrong. Feminism may have taken over the academia, but the tide is beginning to turn as men and even women rebuke feminism en masse. By following the seven generations principle and teaching the next generation of boys that will become men, we will pass on what we learn from them to them. The ones who are strong enough to overcome the matrix of feminist indoctrination. We must guard and protect the young, for those who rule the young have control of the future. Ensuring that boys and men will learn this is essential for the survival of any society. It applies in all aspects, politics, religion, and creed, to even the most microscopic of social interactions, i.e. the household. By doing this, we can teach a valuable lesson of loyalty, respect, and gratitude. Our society doesn't hold that to a high degree anymore, at least in the way it once did. And it shows. It really does show when you take into account how things have been. Anyway, that's all I have. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Donate to my Patreon for more content. Links will be inside the description. Videos like these are made possible because of viewers like you, and thank you.